that is that their quarterback, Brett Smith, is coming back again. Somehow made his way from Salem, Oregon to Laramie, and when he's healthy, he's a big-time player. Well, in the last three weeks, he has thrown nine touchdowns and zero interceptions. He has been their leader on offense. He can spread the field and do it through the air, but he can also have the athletic ability to get out of the pocket and scramble and make plays. He is going to be the leader on this team. He is the leader on offense, and their offense goes as he goes. And Brent Smith, the quarterback about whom we spoke, he comes out of Salem, Oregon, was the state player of the year in Oregon as a high school senior. And you can see very high completion percentage. And that number of uh, a preponderance of touchdowns as opposed to interceptions, that's always a good thing. And one thing he does, big paced offense. They go empty on first down here. And this is just going to be a straight run, run all the way for Smith. And he's going to maybe lose a yard. Kyle Magnuson, Smith the quarterback, empty backfield again. Straight back with time, throws. One-handed catch that time by Heron. And Heron is going to get it all the way down to the 34-yard line of UNLV. Kenny Brown defending, but a great grab to LV electing to only bring three. They drop a defensive lineman in coverage and right over his head, but great time to be able to tip the ball to himself. And you're going to And six. Blitz comes. Smith with time as they pick the blitz up. Now he runs out of time. He's got no place to go. He's going to be sacked for a loss of about three teams. Smith straight back again with time. Throws, got a man caught by McNeil. And McNeil's going to have a first down to the 16-yard line of the Rebels. It's going to be critical for them to convert on third downs today. They've been very good this season, but they need... Smith straight back to pass again. Throws over the middle, got a man. Catches made at the one-yard line. Right, at least Brett Smith did four touchdown passes to beat the hometown Lobos. 28 to 23 and it seems to have set a tone for this week jay well he threw for 374 yards the last week in the four touchdowns already today he's three for three and 74 yards to three different receivers will be their last football game there are a few that will have the opportunity but it's the end of a an error for them Straight back to pass off an empty backfield once again to Smith. Now he rolls away from trouble. He's got all day to throw it. Steps up, throws long, and the catch is made by Robert Haran. What a great separation. He does not push off, but great awareness by Haran. At the end of this, you're going to see he just stops, and then he keeps going in the defense. And a long 10 now. Smith straight back, blitz comes, picked up, goes to the end zone. A lot of contact. Smith once again with time. Floats it out here just a little. And one of the things that Smith does, and it helps him, is and makes some stops on third down against a very efficient and effective Wyoming offense. So once again, an empty backfield on first down. They mark this at the 28-yard line. Smith in trouble now, and down he goes. Stop and keep a back. In the backfield. And this is kind of a quarterback draw. And Smith's going to get the first down into Rebel territory at the 46. Tony Maka has. They go very quickly. And this is Wick out of the backfield on a reception. Turns it upfield. Inside the 40, inside the 35. For him on second down and eight. Smith in trouble. Now he rolls away. Now he throws. And wide open this time is Wefran. Wefran. Wefran steps out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. That was just it been a little bit better thrown ball, that might have just been a walk. You see the pressure coming on the outside. Without making a touchdown. Smith to throw again. Quick toss this time. And a five. Close to six yards. That mark it right at the five yard line. So four to go for me an offensive. Just that kind of a power formation. For the Cowboys, first time we've seen this set today. Play fake, Smith gonna go up, throws on the catch made, touchdown. J.J. Quinlan. See why Brett Smith has been so good the last three weeks. They have so many different formations and, and so big numbers up and 
that first team freshman All-American that he got last year is uh, looking for real, Jay. Well, he's 8 for 10 for 165 yards and one touchdown already just in the first quarter of this game because he threw it right into the teeth. You can see right there in your living room. Look at this man! Vacated. Second down, they need three. And they get three on the pass this time, going very down and eight. Smith straight back, pump fake. Now he's in trouble, rolls out of there. Now he just throws it away. Smart play by Smith. You know. Four man rush, play fake. Smith rolls, throws the other way. Got a man wide open, flag is down. Catch is made this time. The guilty party, he's the man who put the points on the board for the Rebels. So again, a uh, little change up with the stop this Wyoming offense. And they have just enough wrinkles that you can't get a beat on where they're going to go. You can't get a tendency. Here comes a blitz off the corner, and now Smith rolls away. Now he's in trouble. Gets away. Now comes to the near side. Now he buys himself some time, and he throws underneath. And he threw it a little behind. To create something, his first receiver's covered. Looks like he's going to get a sack for sure. And then he runs and has the presence. Say, oh, there. That, that's a very catchable football. It was behind Rufran, but... He should make that catch. So now third down and 11. And Smith on a screen this time. Nothing to crack. It's interesting that Wyoming comes out and, and their entire offense is set in their formation every series, and UNLV is slow to come out defensively. So first down at the 17-yard line. Play fake, Smith gonna go up, throws. Very nice touch on that ball and the catch. Able to get up and continue to run. He had some more yardage to make. Nice touch on this pass. Four man rush, Smith steps up, throws. In and out of the hand, second drop for Rufren. Play fake, and Smith rolls to his left, steps up, looking deep, and it is caught. Kept it in front of him, Trey Norman with the... Kenny Brown, the safety, thinks because of the little look by Smith, goes over to the other receiver. And here's Smith on the keeper, trying to get to the edge, and he is separated from the football, and almost from his own parts. Sidney High got a way to go in the first half. Here he's looking for Dawn. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Chris McNeil. That's just too easy I'll say. for Smith. I mean, there's no middle help. Good, and just like that, a 21 to 10 lead for the Wyatt. Smith. Smith, incidentally. And that last series moved up to sixth all-time in Wyoming history in total yards, 6,015 yards. And remember, this is only his sophomore season. I think he's going to break a few more records. You see Wyoming's passing yards this year, 251 yards a game, and they've exceeded that, exceeded it by far, almost 300 yards in the first half of this game. They go empty on first half. Man rush. Smith steps out, throws. Got a man caught. Still on his feet. Flag comes down. Giving up huge, huge chunks of yards defensively. LV. They go empty again. Here comes a blitz. Smith steps up. Gets away from it. Now still on his feet. Now he's going to run 25 20. And he'll step out of bounds at about the 17 yard line. Quarterback will either. Try and make a bad pass, and it'll be a interception, or they just fall to the ground. He had the awareness to not only get out of the pocket, but he first down. The clock will stop if they make a first down. Smith pump things that all day to throw it. Now he finally does. The catch is made. That's going to be yes. And they're on the doorstep again at the 10 yard line. Now they really spread it out here. Empty backfield, five receivers. Smith, quick pass this time, and step four-yard line. 
And there's a pass and a score, just like that. Looked like a run, brought the linebackers up. Chris McNeil right there, pitch and catch, touchdown. I'll tell you what, Smith is just running this team like a symphony conductor. Absolutely. Seconds. I think he's having fun. Yeah, I would hope so. Five plays, 75 yards, 42 ticks of the clock. Only the blocked field goal return for a touchdown is keeping this game from being completely lopsided. As you look at Smith's numbers, Jay just gave him the 19 of 24, 347 yards, three touchdowns, no picks, his fourth 300-yard passing game. Again, they spread it out. They actually spread it out past the numbers. Smith straight back, has to roll away from pressure now. Under duress, and he will throw it away. Smith straight back once again. Steps out, throws deep, a lot of contact, and a flag comes in. Uh, the service academies. Yes, Air Force still does it this year. Here's a pass caught this time by Claiborne, and a flag comes in late again. Mental mistake after mental mistake. And this is clearly, oh, he takes a yeah. huge shot. That's more than a mental mistake. No, that, that is, that is lucky that Brett Smith is not injured. I mean, this is a humongous hit. Second out and 12 now. Smith throws, catch is made. Yeah. Here's Smith going to put it up this time. Has all day to throw it, now he runs out of time. Now he's flushed to the right side. Now he throws on a run, and the pass is caught. It allows his receiver to come all the way across the field, so nothing's open. This is called the old scramble drill. When you go, you follow the quarterback. Great concentration at their time. At the 36-yard line, first down. And a screen that was almost intercepted. Instead, it's caught. Whatever adjustments he's made, they have paid off extremely well here in the second half. There's a quick pass and a quick tackle. Norman, they go empty. They've had great success with this particular formation. Four-man rush. Smith has to step up. Hit as he throws. Pass is caught. They're going to have to put it away. And UNLV is going to get it back. Somebody got a hand on Smith. There you see it right as he threw the ball. Then they are. Remember, Wyoming open against Toledo. A Toledo pretty good football team. They lost by three. Then they lost by two to Cal Poly the next week. And then the following week, they lose to Idaho, or they beat Idaho in overtime, and then lose at Nevada on the 6th of October in overtime. They lost by one at home to Air Force. I believe the personnel, and I believe the coaching staffs, and everything is there for both these teams.